Hi, I'm Charles. And I'm Caroline. We got married in June and now we're sailing around the Atlantic Ocean for the year. Come join us as we document our journey. In this episode, we explore the Turks and Caicoses with our good friend Nick. We see some wonderful sights as we circumnavigate the archipelago and cross the amazing Turks and Caicoses bank. Here we are entering the reef to go towards Tursal Key Marina. It was extremely shallow and we were pretty worried about hitting the ground. However, we managed to clear with a few centimetres and got there safely. Leaving Turtle Cove Marina this morning. We've had a great time here, but I don't think it's really a sailing, a yachty harbour. We are quite literally the only sailboat in the marina. Every other boat is one of these big sort of fishing boats like the one behind us, and it's very shallow, so probably a reason why, but it's really great. A couple of days here to restock after our passage. Just saying goodbye to you, Turtle Cove. We dropped anchor in the reef and we had an amazing time snorkeling. It was absolutely beautiful and we had the whole anchorage to ourselves. So we just spent the morning in Coburn town on Grand Turk. Bit of a rolly anchorage though. Had some nice lunch, bit of a crazy drunk local tried to join us, but um, soon disappeared. And uh, now we're having a delightful sail downwind using just the Genoa. We can head round to where the cruise ships are and see if it's a little bit more settled around there. Nick, how would you describe the town we went to? Slightly run down, very hick, but delightful. <laughs> Just sailing south past Salt Key, heading down to Big Sand Key. Big Sand Key was absolutely wonderful. It's an uninhabited island, and we spent some time walking along its shores, taking in the scenery. We then made the short sail up towards Coburn Harbour, and we did some snorkeling before crossing the Tex and Capus's bank. On the way there, we caught a massive barracuda. We got him on board and then let him go. So we're just uh, sailing across the Caicos Bank, which is an area which is pretty shallow all the way around, and you can tell that by the colour of this water. And you can very much only navigate by visual. Um, so you can see that dark patch over there. That's probably some coral, another dark patch up over there. So can't really go by the chart here because there's a lot of uncharted coral but as you can see with the sun and the weather as beautiful as it is now it's pretty easy to pick out what you have to avoid. Miles and miles of turquoise water. There that dark patch there that looks pretty corally. It's just like some greeny tinge to it and much darker than the surrounding water so we won't risk going anywhere near those. Coral rock coming up on our starboard. Black bit there and a black bit just in front of us. So I'm taking one quite close just to show you. But that's what we're trying to avoid. But as you can see with the wind and the light so high above us and behind us, it's quite easy. It's 
surrounded by water that's about five meters deep. This is beautiful turquoise color. No sign of life, no sign of anyone else. Not much sign of sea life either, actually. I would assume there's some rays around and some little fish around the coral. It's impossibly shallow here. <laughs> really really shallow so we're just going to film it and see what it looks like underneath fish and oh yeah it looks like it isn't it uh, yeah see if you can bring him around okay. nice good job oh big head shake yeah it's a big horrible barra he is Shortly after catching the barracuda, we caught a wonderful mutton snapper. We threw him back before realising just how delicious he was. If we ever catch another one, we'll definitely keep him and eat him. So we're just leaving the Caicos Bank now, and you can see where the drop-off is. It goes from, well, five metres to hundreds, if not thousands of metres. That's dark blue. There are an insane amount of dolphins coming to join us. Must be 40 around the boat. Amazing. They're all over the boat. In the next episode, Caroline's sisters join us for a week. We have a lovely time with them and we discover the very famous Jojo the Dolphin, which is a local residence in Turks and Caicoses. We were so lucky that Jojo joined us for an entire day and we spent a wonderful afternoon diving with him.